Welcome to Missoni Art and welcome to Summer in the Gallery. We have lots of new work to share with you and we're going to be bringing in new work virtually every week so we encourage you to stop by either the High or Cross Street Gallery. I'm very excited about the new work that Heidi Fowler has sent to us for this summer show. It's interesting, I never quite know what my theme is going to be, but I'm fascinated by the fact that so many of these artists are working in layers, collages, beautiful composed pieces, drawings with layers upon layers upon layers. But in Heidi's case, um, I think this new work is really quite extraordinary. She is showing us how we can take those things that we throw away in life and repurpose them and have a vision of something new. And I think that's sort of where a lot of my artists are these days. You know, we live, we live in the world. We are affected by the culture. We really have, a, have to find our voice, how we're going to speak about all of these things. And Heidi has been reflecting on environmental issues for many, many years. She also was touched by the horror of Ukraine. Now, those are the themes that move her. But also as an artist, her goal is to create something, I wouldn't use the word beautiful, but something that attracts the eye, that pulls you in, that informs you in different ways, that doesn't necessarily speak to the brain, but perhaps speaks to the heart or the eye. So in, come in and really spend some time with Heidi's pieces. These are ones you want to stand in front of, and you want to see the underlying messages that she's giving us. Now, I couldn't leave you with just the very serious work that many of our artists do without bringing you into this marvelous little exhibit to the side. This is Zema Maston White's work, and Zema is giving us, I don't know, fireworks, taking us to the Mardi Gras, giving us a real feeling of summer. I think you'll find, if you look at the piece that she did earlier, the beautiful long blue one that has been in the gallery before, you'll see a piece and a serenity and then you turn to this one which is called Mardi Gras and you'll see the excitement that she's bringing. You know I think a lot of us have felt like we're breaking maybe out of some of this time but if you look at the middle section of Zema's piece you'll see just a little bit of what I call that energy that hasn't dissipated yet. And I really was so pleased when I heard from Eve Stockton that she had found two of these woodcuts that she had done many, many years ago, and I must admit they have so much joy and so much happiness in them that they seem the perfect counterpoint also for the new work of so many of the artists who are still reflecting on the issues of the pandemic and all the other issues that we're contending with in this world of ours. So thank you, Eve, for this beautiful color and this beautiful reminder of the complexity of nature. And I can always count on Sima Liebman to deliver beautiful work, um, but intriguing work too. Uh, in this case, the layers are back, layer upon layer upon layer of color. It's about shape, it's about form, purely abstract, I think, although I must say with this pale blue one, it sometimes reminds me of a spring day when the apple blossoms have come out and they're just blowing through the air. But if I were to speak to the artist, she would probably say, no, Carla, it's simply an abstraction. It's about color, it's about shape, it's about layering, and it's about those things we find underneath. Again, I think the beauty of abstract art is to clear the mind, clear the mind from what we think something might be, and perhaps take a new look and discover that we still have more to learn. And I am so excited about what I call the coolies. Um, the coolies have arrived in the gallery. Uh, this is the work of uh, Rosemary Cooley, and these are wonderful compositions that she's made, uh, collages, that she's using actually paper from old prints of hers, old monoprints, things that she's found. And, you know, again, the, the collection, what captures the eye of the artist to begin with, even in the things that they gather and put in their drawer, and then when they pull it out, what do they create? But I think the thing I love about these, um, much the same way when we have the collection of the Marcy's, uh, Marcy Dunn Ramsey's pieces, and I call those the gumdrops. Well, this is the same feeling I have. These are utterly delightful. They're, they're, they make you smile. 
They're filled with memories, they're filled with layers. I think you'll find these pieces perfectly wonderful and enjoy spending some time back here at the shelf, leaning over, looking into each one of them and discovering the treasures that Rosemary has buried within.